Hey there, Sam. HTTP is rather slow compared to WebSocket, and in a real-time app, speed is the utmost priority. So if you want to get more juice out of our app, we should make good use of WebSocket. Currently, our chat app is not perfect. Here's what has been happening behind the scene. This is our client number one, and this is our server. So client one wants to send a message to the group chat, and it will do so by sending in a HTTP request to the server. The server receives the request and proceeds to send out an event. Then the event will be broadcasted through the WebSocket server to client 2. Now as we know, HTTP request is slow. It could cause some delay for the event to arrive in client 2 and will be the bottleneck for this WebSocket architecture. And things get even worse if we are using an asynchronous queue driver to broadcast the event, which will cause further delay in the whole process. Now the point here is that if there are events that we don't need to pass through the Laravel server, we could have established a connection directly with the WebSocket server and transmit the data to our peers without going through our Laravel app at all. By using this path, we can transmit data to the peers in a near real-time speed. And now the big question is, how are we supposed to achieve this? Well, there are two ways that I can think of right now. One is a long way which is more powerful but at the same time more complicated. That is to set up a WebSocket RPC API on our WebSocket server. The second way is a shorter and easier way, which is to use a built-in Laravel echo function called Whisper. That will allow WebSocket clients to talk to each other without going through our Laravel server. We'll discuss the short way in this lesson and a long way in the next video. Okay, now I want to implement the someone is typing feature in our chat room. So the idea here is that if someone started to type something in a chat box, we will broadcast the event to everyone else in the channel. All right, let's get onto it. So here in our app.js, I'll add an event listener to the input message box. So for every keystroke, I will whisper or broadcast a typing event to everyone in the channel. The whisper function accepts two arguments. The first argument is the event name and the second argument is the event payload. And I'll just put in the user email here. And now to listen to the incoming whisper messages, we will need to call the listen for whisper function on the channel. And upon receiving the typing event, I would like to show a small display in the DOM to notify everyone in the room. Let's go to our HTML and do exactly that. I'll add a span just above our input element, back to app.js, target the element. And when someone's typing, I'll simply set the text content of the span to the email in the event payload and adding a text is typing at the end of it. And now before we test our code, we need to make sure that in our WebSocket config, we have enabled the client messages option. And remember to restart your WebSocket server after that. Okay, now let's go to our browser and test our code. I'll log in as two different users in two browser windows. And now if I type in something in one window, the other window shows the typing notification. Great! And now here's another problem. When I clear the content in the input box, the typing notification still exists in the other window. And it is also a good idea to leave a small spacing on the left-hand side of the notification. Let's fix these two things quickly. I'll add a small padding left on the span. And in the input event listener, when a value in a text box has a length of zero, that means the user has cleared everything in a text box, will whisper a new event called stop typing. And back to our channel listen chain, I'll listen for the stop typing event where we'll set the spam typing to empty when a user has stopped typing. All right, let's test our code. Okay, as you can see, as I clear out my text message, the typing notification disappears. And that's how the whisper function works in Laravel Echo. All right, key takeaways for this lesson. HTTP is rather slow for real-time application. It is quicker to communicate with the server through WebSocket connections. The whisper function from Laravel Echo allows us to send events to each other without passing through Laravel. The listen to whisper functions listen to peers event in a channel. That's it for now and I'll see you again in the next lesson. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for the support.